we can run our own show. You know, three young black men at that. So, you know, you never know. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Facts and Stacks or Stats and Facts, however you want to say it. We have here Everett Jr. Before we get started this episode, I'd like to thank all of our new subscribers and everyone that's watching our videos that we've been dropping. Uh, we're on our eighth video now within the past two weeks, so we're on a good road. Yes, sir. We're going to go ahead and jump straight into it. So, breaking news, Olo Depot opted out of returning to the Orlando restart. How y'all feel about that? Um, I feel like it's a great decision for himself. He's using this platform to um, say how he really feels about what's going on. Um, I feel like he don't really need to really come back. It's no rush. Uh, the, the Pacers, they're not really in a good position to do anything big in the playoffs right now anyway. So. I mean, you, ne- Go ahead. you never know, though. I can't agree with that because, <clears> like, <throat> before the Pacers, before this whole depot injury happened, like, the last time we seen them in the playoffs, they gave the Cavaliers a good little run. You know, um, LeBron yeah. goaltending one of the depots, like, layups, and they didn't call goaltending, so that led the Cavaliers to winning that game. Um, mm-hmm. And I don't know. I think the Pacers actually got a nice little team. You know, they added Brogdon this year. Nice. Been, they added like, Brogdon, and then they got a different Sabonis than the one that they had when right. Depot just got there. Sub- Sabonis? Sabonis was all-star this year, too. Facts. So. That's what I was about to say. Sabonis, yeah. he was not the same Sabonis from when – um, they they went 2017 2018 season when Oladipo got there. When he was when he when he got there, Sabonis was only averaging 11.7 rebounds. Now right. that he's there, but Depot is hurt. Sabonis averaging 18 points and 12 rebounds. He averaged a double double. They, right. they didn't have that 2017 2018. Yeah, that's cool. But you got to think about it. he just came off of injuries, so they got to work him back into the system. Who, who Sabonis or Depot? Oladipo. Oladipo. Yeah, yeah. I mean, of course. I mean, that's what I'm saying. I'm not mad that he's not return to come back because when he was playing so in 2017, 2018, he was averaging 23 points. That was the most points he ever that's averaged what, in the joint. That's what, but that's what I'm saying. They wouldn't do much this year because he's just coming back. He's still got to work his way into the system and them all jumping together. For him to do something big, they got to be able to just. I know. hear you. I hear you. I see where you're coming from. Um, I'm just shocked because like in his last three games before the whole, you know, um, Coronavirus shut the league down. You know, right. Depot he done he done had 16 in 26 minutes, and he had 16 again. And in his last mm-hmm. game that he played, he had 27 points, shooting nine for 16 from the field in 29 minutes. So you know, it's like it's like he was trending up. You know, being consistent. Although he only played right. the game this year, you know, he he was averaging 14, 15. Um, so you know, I'm just shocked because I thought that he would have tried to like make a little run for it, but then you got to think about the bigger picture. You know, the health concerns. You know, like you were saying. So. Right. Probably rehab, and he wants to be. Probably he came back, and he wasn't one hundred percent. He wouldn't be one hundred percent when he comes back. So, you know, I understand. Right. And that's probably. the same thing, though. Like you could tell when. Um, okay, so and they got Malcolm Brogdon, like you said, he was playing cool in Milwaukee. You know, what I'm saying they didn't have Malcolm Brogdon back then when it's a bonus. I feel like, and they was averaging fifth seed for the past three years. So they right. still they playing the same with Debo and without him. But but that's only when he didn't have Brogdon and he didn't have the Sabonis that he got now. So I feel like right. next season, him taking this break, definitely yeah. going to be tough for the Pacers. Next season. I think next season will be way better for him. Right. Way yeah. better for him. Definitely. Then they're going to be going against the Nets, though, exactly. So they're oh, going yeah. against the Nets. Yeah. Going to yeah. yeah, I forgot. I forgot all about KD, Kyrie. The Miami going to have a – I mean, I said Miami. <laughs> the East got – I'm over here thinking about Miami. The East got a lot of good teams, like – Miami, yeah, Miami. Be harder next year. Bam going to take another leap. Um, who is going to be the right. most player to me um, this year? You said Bam going to be the best player to you next year? No, no. Bam is going to win the most improved player award this year. I don't me. know. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then like, this yeah, is my so, thing. Uh, you know, you got Miami, Boston, uh, Philly. You, I still, I still like Toronto too. Yeah, Toronto. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's a lot of sleeper teams, bro. You got Celtics, yeah. Pacers. Um, bro, the Cavaliers doing all right. Like, I was, I just checked their stuff. Uh, Cavaliers. Cavaliers. Yes, bro. RJ Drummond, bro. He's he's like he's a top uh, center in for the right in the league, bro. Like, but you think they gonna do something in the playoffs? No, 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 no. I didn't say they was gonna do something in the playoffs. I'm just saying, like, I feel like these, it's a lot of sleeper teams in the East. That's that's they that's all I'm saying. Sleeper. So the Cavaliers still, are a sleeper team. Asleep. I feel like, bro, next year, the Cleveland Cavaliers are a sleeper team bro, right I now. Feel like they gonna be okay, bro. They got Darius Garland, Colin no. Sexton, RJ Drummond, Kevin Love. Like, RJ names. Drummond is a free agent after this year. He, what if he stay? You know, we don't we don't know that. We ain't hear no report. We don't even know if Kevin Love gonna stay. They don't even want Kevin Love. They try. They've been trying to move Kevin Love. 
They've been trying to move exactly. that. What, 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 what just function in your head to make you say the Cavaliers are a sleeper team? Bro, I'm I'm the, bro, I was, I was thinking about teams, and I, and, I, and that day came up to my head because they, I, they got that young talent. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's but a legit, sleep, name another sleeper team in the East. That's cool that they got talent. But they okay, name like a sleeper team, team in the East. Name a sleeper team in the East, please. Miami. The Cavaliers. The Miami is not a sleeper team in the East. Miami what mm-hmm. Miami is not considered a, a, a fi- if you're not considered a finals contender you're a sleeper team. Okay. Exactly. Oh, the Cavaliers are not content the Cavaliers are not considered a finals contender. They're right? not a sleeper team. They can't even make the damn playoffs. Oh, they're not even a playoff contender. Why? They're not even they, a playoff. Okay, contender. listen, listen, listen. They rebuilding, bro. They just came off. They were just in the playoffs 2017-2018 against the Warriors. LeBron James was I there. I know, but I'm saying they still got them pieces that that was there, bro. They know they got that experience. No, they they don't. What pieces? What pieces? Kevin, Kevin Love. I just named them. Tristan Thompson. Darius Kevin, Kevin Love and Tristan Thompson. Who else? Tristan That's Thompson. It. I just, I just named them. Kevin Love and Tristan people. Thompson. Who else? I just hit Colin Sexton, Darius Garland, he bro. He wasn't there. He wasn't there. No, bro. no, 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 no. I'm talking about those are the pieces that that was there. They got the experience. I mean, now I'm saying they a sleeper because now they got this young talent, bro. No, 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 no. You when said when they there? When they was in the playoffs, right? They still got some of those pieces. Right. Colin Sexton wasn't there. That's facts. That's yeah, facts. Man. Like this is this is called facts and stats. You gotta drop the facts uh, and stats if you want to talk. Then we hit with that. Like, man. let me know. Let's hit with that, man. All right, all right. I hear you. I hear you. Cavaliers ain't no sleeper team, man. All right, what's up? What's up? With, what's up with Maker though? Um, uh, uh, Tom Baker brother. Uh, yeah. I, big news. Um, just Maker came well. to Howard University. Um, yeah. And he, what I like about what he did, and also what he tweeted, he said. He hopes young stars or not stars, young players like Mikey Williams looks to follow in his footsteps because, you know, it's been a lot of speculation about Mikey Williams tweeting, um, saying that he's interested in um, going to the HBCU route, you know, because it's the black athletes or the back black future star players feel like them actually pursuing the HBCU can be a, a major change in the college sports world. Cause you know where they all go right. to do Carolina, Kentucky and, you know, schools like that. So. I mean, yeah, I mean, this definitely, this could be like a new thing. Like, top yeah. top priority prospects are going to HBCUs. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, Instead of going to, you like you said, Kentucky, Duke, Alabama. You know what I'm saying? Like, they start, I don't know. It, right? it, it, it'd be amazing. It, it'd be, it, I really hope these top athletes really start to consider these HBCUs. Like, Howard, you know, a and um, It'll really be, it, it will really be amazing because, you know, it's spreading the talent out. And then also... It's also allowing the black players or the black predominant schools to see star players live at their school. Right, that'd be dope. That'd right. be dope. So that's my favorite thing about it. You know, I love the commitment. Um, he's the first, he's the highest ranked prospect to commit to a black college since yeah. the I, I think he ran like 16. Started, so. and I'm, happy coming to, I'm happy coming to Howard, you know, so we can represent for him, man. He can represent yeah. for us. So. He can go see a game or two. You know, I, I, like I seen LeBron. LeBron said that he's going to go and watch him play. I was like, damn. Okay, so do you think Mikey is going to go to Howard with him, or you think Mikey going to do his own thing? They, well, they in different classes. Uh, they can actually still go to the league this year, um, if, if you didn't know. Mm-hmm. But um, I don't think he's going to take that route. I think he really want to set an example and actually want to play a season right. um, at Howard. Yeah. Did, did he, did another he, player. Did he play overseas or something? Like, what's what's up? What maker? How you? What, what, what happened? Nah, he don't play overseas. Um, no, I'm saying, yeah, I know he don't play overseas, but you say he could go this season. Like, how did? Because you know, uh, yeah. Lamelo. Oh, now nah, he can reclass up. You can uh, reclass up. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, I what I was about to say though, I also thought Josh Christopher, another top uh, recruit, mm-hmm. um, out California, was going to consider going to Howard because he had a nice visit with Howard. You know, he was showing videos, nice photos, and everything like that. Ultimately, he did commit to Arizona State, but right. um, I do think more athletes are going to take the route. I do think Mikey for sure is going to go to HBCU as well. Yeah, I just don't think it's going to be. Well, I don't know if it's going to be Howard. You don't know, you know, he's definitely not going to be a maker for yeah. different classes. All right. Okay, okay, that's all right. That's all right. Um, and then we got the Redskins going to change their name. That's another thing that we got to hit on. It's about time, man. It's about time <laughs> to get that curse off their back so they can do something. Positive on the field, you know. You know, I actually, I, and in regards to the skins, you know, like I actually do hope they change their name because, like, a lot of people, like Marcus just said, a lot of people say the Redskins been been cursed. Um, you just throw it out there from 2010 to now, the Redskins been have a record of 62 and 97. Overall, <laughs> their record is 62 and 97 overall. Yeah, from this, from this past decade. Uh, you know, like that ain't, and, I, and that's not even me including 2000, 2001, 2002, and up. Yeah. You know, I'm pretty sure. 
No, no. So, so if they change their name, do you think that'd be like a triple effect to like other teams to change their name, like the Indian? I mean, the uh, you know what I'm saying? They got some baseball names that's like that. You know what I'm saying? They got some. Nah, nah, it ain't not like that. If uh, the Redskins change their name, nobody else is gonna. Yeah, nobody else is gonna consider changing their name. It's so just this, that. Right. So this right. is as bad as it gets right here. Really yeah, they just they're at a standpoint to where like they gotta actually really consider this because um the FedEx field where the Redskins play at came right. out and said they want the Redskins to change their name. Mm-hmm. Immediately right. after that, Nike removed all Redskins merchandise That's from the store. Crazy, but you know you still can't go on the website and get that stuff. They real out no. took they real out not funding them, bro. And that was like billions of dollars, bro. Right. So you know, like they like damn, you know. We, we we the FedEx, the stadium said we gotta change our name, Nike removed all of our merchandise, right. and now right. that letter. He doubled back on what he said in 2013. 2013, he said, you know, uh, we'll never change the team name. It's that simple. You know, you mm-hmm. can use all caps. Dan Snyder, yeah, Dan, Dan, he come back and saying it's under review for. Right, yeah. right, right, exactly. That's where I was going. Now he come back and saying that, like, um, basically it's under review. They're wearing all options. So that's a high chance that they're probably going to change the name. Yeah. I, I think that would be good for the team. I don't know why he play. made that statement. And he know, like, what we going on. He probably thought, it, like, when all this uh, protest and all this social stuff was going on, he probably mm-hmm. in the back of his head was like, they probably going, I'm probably going to have to change the name. Like, he probably knew this was coming, like, low-key. Like, <laughs> he probably was thinking about that. I know, he probably wouldn't even care. You wouldn't even yeah. Man, that's how you do it. They got a nice little young team over there. They can use that spark. You know, they got a new coach, mm-hmm. um, a, a quarterback in the second year, a, mm. a, a upcoming star wide receiver in the second year, mm-hmm. you know, a, so, a young yeah. defensive line. And then just yeah, the, Chase Young is on the way. Uh, so... Chase, Mark, Chase Young is on the way, man. Chase Young is on the way. Yeah, Chase Young is on the way, so... Uh, so a change their name can be a big spark for them players. Like you know, we got a, we got a, a new name, a new coach, a new offense coordinator, all that. You know, so that can be a little nice little spark. Like a little thing. rebuild, like the Cavaliers. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the Cavaliers. All right, my bad, my bad. All right, so last thing, just the uh, last joint. How y'all feel about we got MVP Lamar versus MVP Cam? What's what y'all thoughts on that? Who had a better team? Okay, look, 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 look. Who had who had the better team? Answer that. Who who had a better team? At what? At what time? You talking like, about like MVP Cam? Did he have a better team, or did Lamar have a better team? Ooh, this, that that's going that's going to choose my decision. Who had the better team? I'm a I'm gonna go with Lamar just because okay, position okay. wise, I feel, I feel like they had more people. If he had the better team, defense bro, wise and offensive wise. If if he had the yeah. better team, I'm giving it to Cam off bucks because he had to work hard. I think I think he had a better team, but but at the same time, Lamar did a lot for that team. I, uh, yeah, I, that's a good question. I'm not gonna Who, lie to you. Whoever had the better team, that I'm Panthers it to team, the other QB, bro. they had they, but the Ravens too. Like, so it's hard because the Panthers team had a top five defense, like easily, like Josh so, Norman. Do you um, think that the 2019 Ravens could beat the 2015 uh, uh, yes. Panthers in the Super Bowl? Yes. yes. Okay, then I'm giving it to Cam just off just off the strength, just because he got nah, the- because that that I can't do that because that 2015 team made the Super Bowl and lost. Right, and did nothing. That, you know what I'm saying they they folded like Cam Newton it literally folded. Nothing. He so, like he so do you think that better, like he didn't want no parts? Do you think that the Lamar right. Jackson of 2019 would have beat the team that he, uh, who he lose to the 49ers? Who the, the Lamar Cam Jackson in 2015 in a player? The Broncos, Broncos, the Broncos, the Broncos, the Broncos. Yeah. The do you think that Lamar Jackson could beat him now? Beat the Broncos? The Broncos got a top defense too. Um, this Lamar Jackson as of right now, I don't. We probably didn't have enough offensive firepower. Like right, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We didn't have. I'm gonna be real. We didn't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna leave that out. But yeah. Um, the Ravens don't have enough. Nah, talk your stuff. You a Ravens fan. You biased. Ravens, yeah, but, you know, I'm not trying to be biased. The Ravens didn't have enough offensive firepower to compete with that Broncos team at the time. They okay, probably would have right. made Marla look the same way they made Cam Newell look. Mm. And that's just me being straight up. MVP-wise, MVP season-wise, Lamar broke too many damn records. Like, Lamar, Lamar done broke records. He took, he, 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 didn't he break uh, the Michael Vick joint for uh, the Russian, Russian yards? Yeah, I mean, on top of breaking the Russian record, yeah. how you lead the league in passing touchdowns and break the Russian record? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's yeah. that's crazy to me. Like yeah. that yeah. shows that you the complete quarterback. So who who is the who is the better player? The the 2000 MVP 19 MVP Lamar or the 2015 Cam Newton? Like which one is better? That's my question. You know what I'm saying? I say it's Cam because he had the worst team out of those two. He didn't have the worst team. That's your opinion. Okay. He didn't have the worst team. Okay. Yeah, I just said they had a. They, I just said they had a good defense too. Right. Exactly. But he didn't have a lot of offensive weapon power either. He didn't have a lot they, of good. They, they actually had team. a good team. I'm not gonna lie to you. They they had a good team. Uh. That's a tough question. I, that's really a good question. That's what I'm saying. Like, what's up? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with Lamar. Gonna gonna but go with I, like Lamar. I said, I gotta go with Lamar because he he done he like Marcus said he did way too much for the team, on top of breaking records. Um, right. Way more flashier plays to me. Yeah, like 
amazing runs, amazing mm-hmm. throws. Right. Gotcha. He had multiple games of four or more touchdown passes. Like, Talk, told it, man. I ain't mad. It was beautiful, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> it's no, it's no need to compare 2019 and 2015, 2015 MVP season because we play them this year. So that's what that matters. We play them this year. But that's so not the same Panthers team year. from 2015. It don't matter what you what you said. Don't even that that, that don't even. We gonna think, see him this year. That's all that matters. We gonna see him this oh, year. Yeah. All bucks. You could just get that to the Ravens. I'm proud of Cam, man. Once again, I'm proud of Cam. Oh, I hope yeah, he he get back in the league. I hope AB get back in the league. No, he is the back of the year. Where, where, where would you think AB would go? What was what's better? No, I said I'm proud of Cam, but I hope oh, okay. Kaepernick and AB get back in the league. Who, who needs oh, AB? Okay. Who like who, what you think AB? What's his best uh, situation? Where should he go? Like in your what you think? I mean, uh, it a lot. It been rumors that a lot of quarterbacks said they can they you know they they would love to throw to AB again. Um, but he right. was just working out with Russell Wilson. Um, mm, so the Seahawks last week. He was working out with Lamar last month. Uh, Ravens, I saw that. Yeah, yeah it was so, him in um was it Hollywood. Marquise Brown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Hollywood. They, that's his cousin. Damn, that's all right. But shit, man. Cool. Um, Personally, I'd love to see him with Russell. I would love to see him with Russell. I would love to see him with Russell. Yeah, I was gonna say Seahawks or maybe 49ers, maybe. Mm, right. 49ers. Mm. Okay, I, 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 I like I AB like and that. Debo. Ooh, Kittle. Exactly. That's nasty. Exactly. Hey, you know, um, back to what you said, like, uh, ultimately, uh, he can fit anywhere. AB mm-hmm. type player, like, no matter what team he go to right now, he's going to be the best wide receiver on the team. So, gotcha. Um, outside of the Falcons, uh, and probably the Cardinals. I like DeAndre Hopkins. I, oh, no. I seen this video yeah. of somebody named Wiley on the Falcons. Dude, he cooked this dude on Twitter, bro. Oh, no. Nah, Calvin Ridley, yeah. He, he, he's a dog. Calvin Ridley. Really. I seen that joint. Boy, he turned the corner so fast. It, like, he think, I was like, dang, bro. Like, he made me want to get yeah. on the field and hone my craft type shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's a dog. He only hit his third year too. Him and Julio go crazy. That's nice. That's mm-hmm. nice. That's nice. Him and Julio go real crazy. All right, man. We had a great episode today, man. That was everything we had for y'all. We're gonna be back with another episode real soon for y'all, man. Y'all can make sure y'all subscribe. Yes, sir. Follow us on social media, mm-hmm. Twitter, Instagram. Facts and stats on the Instagram, Twitter. Get feedback, YouTube. man. Get feedback. Leave us some comments. Yeah. What y'all- what y'all want to see? What can we y'all got comments? Who y'all that? think is the better MVP? Cam Newton or uh, uh, Lamar Jackson? Tell us how y'all feel. Who y'all think the Pacers? They gonna make a stronger push because they've been averaging fifth, you know, conference three years in a row with and without Depot. And let us know how y'all feel about uh, the Redskins. Name change. Let us know. Let us know. All right. We be back with y'all, man. Holla at y'all. Y'all be safe. Yes, sir. Football.